and you offer this mass for the repose of the soul of Jack Pratt. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Let us acknowledge our sinfulness before the Lord and pray for God's mercy. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord your God, for as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I propose and succeed in the things, thing for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. God. From all their afflictions, God will deliver the just. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. All their afflictions. Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. The poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord, and was saved from every trouble. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against evildoers to cut off the re remembrance of them from the earth. From all their afflictions, God will deliver the just. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. From all their Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. No one lives on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. When the disciples had gathered around Jesus on the hillside, he began to teach them. 
when you are praying do not heap up empty praises as gentiles do for they think that they will be heard because of their many words do not be like them for your father knows what you need before you ask him pray then in this way our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come you will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and do not bring us to the time of trial but rescue us from the evil one for if you forgive others their trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you but if you do not forgive others neither will your father forgive your trespasses the gospel of the lord the most powerful prayer jesus taught us is our father jesus taught that prayer doesn't mean just uttering mere words only but our interior disposition is very important in our prayer when we pray there are seven facts to be considered first one is to call god as our father abba second one is to bless his holy name mighty name powerful name third one is to pray for his kingdom to come not our kingdom but god's kingdom to pray for god's will not my will but god's will be done in my life and to pray for our daily bread not tomorrow bread but today bread daily bread and to forgive and to ask for forgiveness the last one is to pray for the protection from the evil one and its temptations jesus stresses whenever we recite our father we need to first forgive others if not our sins will not be forgiven you know what if we pray our father daily as a family how much peace harmony and healing could have been there in our families Blessed our Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we have few fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life Blessed our Lord God of all creation through 
For through your goodness we have received the wine, your free fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart may be accepted by you, O Lord, and may I sacrifice in your sight. This day be pleased in you, Lord. God, wash me from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal susten sustenance you have given us that it may bring us eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year you faithful await the sacred Paschal feast with the joy of minds made pure so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Let us pray for the departed souls. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptations but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us obey each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring the remnant of soul to sin. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
let us pray. Grant us through these mysteries, Lord, that by moderating earthly desires, we may learn to love the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your faith will be strengthened, O God, by your blessing. In grief, may you be their consolation. In tribulation, their power to endure. And in peril, their protection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace of Christ.